Ho, holy shit. What is wrong with you psychos? It's the Christmas season. It's Christmas time. You know, all that goodwill toward men kind of stuff. I got the feeling that there are several of you people out there that did not get that memo. Just this week alone. I mean, I personally missed this excitement. It happened while I was, well, one of them happened before I even started my shift, but I was in the store. The other one happened while I was inside, and it, well, it all happened outside, you know, for the most part. First thing is, I had come up from, you know, clocking in, getting ready to start my day. Come to find out, you know, I've, I've been hearing little pieces here and there, and what I had pieced together by, you know, what I was hearing, there was some kind of fight out in the parking lot. And someone gets stabbed and comes into the store and is bleeding all over the place. They said that the men's bathroom looked like a murder scene. And I don't know if the person left or they got, you know, paramedics there to help this person. This, I don't know. But apparently everything but the bathroom had already been cleaned up. There was a couple officers talking to an associate who happened to know either the attacker or the victim, and he was giving them information. I mean, a stabbing in our parking lot. Have you people lost your minds? Well, I guess if you're, you know, going around stabbing someone in the parking lot, the answer to that would be yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then later, that same day, well, technically it was early in the morning the following day, but it was still on the same shift for me. Because this first thing happened sometime um, in the 9 p.m. hour. This next thing, I, I think it, it was happening somewhere between 4 and 5 a.m. I don't remember exactly when. But apparently, there were, this was being told to me by a fellow associate now who was pay, pretty much watching the whole thing. Him and his wife were taking their break or their lunch. I think it was their lunch out in their vehicles out in the parking lot. And according to them, five police officers show up. And they, well, they don't really, you know, surround, but, you know, they get all up close to this pickup that's parked, you know, quite a ways back into the parking lot. And they light it up with their uh, searchlights or, you know, spotlights, whatever you want to call it. And apparently they're hollering at uh, the driver to get out with uh, his hands up. And he says they've all got their guns drawn and one of the police officers is holding a shotgun. And according to them, the person gets out of the vehicle and they cuff him and stuff him. Now... It's one thing to have one police vehicle come up to a parked, you know, a parked vehicle and uh, have their gun drawn. But five? What the hell did this person even do? It, it obviously it had to be something serious. Probably killed somebody or whatnot. Who knows? You people are insane. That's all I can say. You're absolutely insane. I know this coming from the, you know, from the person wearing a Santa hat with a green beard and all this stuff in it. You know, it, that's, that's a different level of insane, okay? You know, get over it. And all this, you know, 
psychotic behavior aside, then there's the rest of you crazy people. I mean, each day as it gets closer and closer to Christmas, it is getting busier and busier and busier. You, you guys have no idea how badly I dread going to work Friday night and Saturday night. I mean, the last weekend before Christmas, it's going to be, what, pandemonium? That sounds like a good word. Let's use that one. It's going to be pandemonium. But you people, huge crowds of people and cartloads just packed with stuff. Most of it food. You realize it's a week before Christmas, okay? Do you have any idea how many items I have to buy for my Christmas meal that I'm going to cook for myself? Zero. Double zero. I have it all. All of it. I have the turkey. I have the eggnog, I have the macaroni salad, I have the potato salad, I have the cranberry sauce, the olives, the rolls, the stuffing, the gravy, the pies, all of it. Everything that I'm going to need to enjoy Christmas dinner by myself if one of my friends is not going to join me. I'll see that later. I've invited a friend of mine to to share Christmas dinner with me. Um, but that's neither here nor there. I have everything. All I did is just, the only thing that I got at the very end was the rolls because bread has a tendency of expiring a little soon. So that's all I did. It's like I, I'm checking my dates. Even on the, the macaroni salad and the potato salad I bought uh, yesterday. I checked the dates. It's like, oh, look, this doesn't ex um, expire until the first week of January. You know? So I got it. And yet all of you insane people are, like, buying everything. And then you, and then you cry. Why are you out of this? Why are you out of that? How come you don't have any? It's a week before Christmas, people. What do you expect? I mean, we're not going to keep, you know, hundreds and thousands of a single, you know, item because of what's going to happen after, you know, Christmas is over. We're going to end up with a whole bunch of stuff we can't sell. And then we're going to have to mark it down. That's not, you know, and then, no, it doesn't work that way. If you would have been here, you know, gone to the stores, you know, a few weeks ago, there's several things that, you know, that I got that's going to last a long time. Like, for, for example, frozen turkey. What, that that's going to last, what, months in the freezer? Or even one or two months. When you bought your when you bought your Thanksgiving turkey, you could have bought two turkeys and you could have had, one, you know, one for Christmas. Unless you bought a big, you know, thing that looked like a small ostrich, you know, then, yeah, you can't fit two, you know, frozen ostriches in your freezer. But still, that would have lasted. What else? Your uh, cranberry sauce, or if you got the one that has the whole cranberries. Ugh. If you had those, those are going to last a long time. You know, canned olives, those are going to last for a long time. The boxed stuffing, if you do it that way, that's going to last a long time. Why wait to the last possible minute and then just buy a whole crap ton of stuff, buy it all at once, and then gripe at us because one, either, gee, there's no no cashiers. Well, it's, duh. Overnight, there isn't going to be. They're going to have them all working during the day and the afternoons and the early evenings where there's the biggest amount of traffic. And then you're going to be grabbing, I can't find any milk. I can't find any rolls. I can't find any cranberry sauce. Where is it all? In somebody else's house. If you idiots would have bought a lot of that, you know, stuff that lasts a long time, weeks ago, guess what? The stores would have had time to replenish it for other people, for you even. If you all would have tapered it out, then, you know, you wouldn't be rushing. 
and then you know even after you have all of your you know food and stuff then yes the Christmas presents you wonder well, why are we out of this you know why are we out of this toy why are we out of that toy I can't find any of these kind of lights I can't find any hooks for my ornaments you know why don't you have any in stock we did have them in stock we're out are you going to get any more? N well, no. Maybe next year, yes. But for this season, no. Because then we would have to discount all the stuff that's not going to sell in the next week. You people are... <sighs> this is what you are. You're dingy. Dingy. People have absolutely lost your ever-loving minds. And the, now, a few people like just, I don't know, just arrived. You weren't born, just <laughs> there you are, a full-grown adult. And here you are having your first Christmas, either for yourself or your family, and you have to buy all this crap all at once. Okay. But you know, those of you that aren't like, I don't know, pod people or aliens or whatever, you should know by now this happens every single year. Same time every year. Maybe not the same day of the week, but the same date. You know it's coming. I mean, stores like where I work, we start getting Christmas stuff in like in what, October? So... It's not like it's a big surprise. They go, oh my God, you know, Christmas is tomorrow. I had no freaking idea. I saw people buying, Christ you know, a, a couple little Christmas decorations and stuff like in mid-October. There weren't many people buying them, but there, I'd say I had maybe three or four people in October that I rang up that was buying Christmas things. I wanted to slap them because... Getting stuff early is okay, but if you're buying Christmas anything before Halloween shows up, you need to be slapped. I think the earliest anybody should be buying Christmas decorations or anything like that is the day after Thanksgiving. That's when the Christmas uh, carols should start playing, the Christmas music should start playing is the day after Thanksgiving. Not before, not on Thanksgiving, the day after. That's when everyone should put up their trees, put up their lights, all that good stuff. Speaking of which, notice something? My little tree right there, all lit up. I know, the tree's always there. Yes, it's always there. It's been in that spot for probably two years or more. And that's probably where it's gonna stay. Why? Eh, because I don't want to put it away. I don't want to have the stuff in the bag and then go rummaging through my room with all my other boxes that I never unloaded just because I don't have room in this apartment for everything. So at least half of the stuff I own is still in boxes. So yeah, the uh, my second uh, bedroom looks like a storage unit. And um, I have my other tree already uh decorated <laughs> and lit up. Would you like to see it? Of course you would. I'll show it to you. Let's see. La 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 la. They're spinning the viewfinder around so that I can see. Hey, look at that. Isn't that a beauty? Yep, that's my other tree. <laughs> and we spin back around. And... <gasps> I'm back. <laughs> uh, let's get this a little bit closer. All right. Anyways, back to it. It's just, it's, it's getting, you people are getting crazier, it seems, every year. You're buying more and more stuff, food and stuff, you know, decorations and gifts and stuff, and you buy it all at once. I, I, I don't get it. Why? I mean, you're probably thinking, 
Well, don't you buy presents for anybody? Well, the only person I really have to buy presents for is my girlfriend in England. And it is really <laughs> expensive to send stuff over there. And so basically what I... I mean, I might get her a little trinket here and there, but mostly I send her candy. Candy that they do not have, either do not have in England, or stuff that she just doesn't have access to because, you know, she's not in a, you know, bigger city or just not close enough to one of the stores. Um, so I will buy a bunch of that and um, I will ship it to her. Uh, when, when I have the money to do so. I mean, as it is just one of the medium prepaid white boxes that you can get at the post office, you know, the, you know, if it fits, it ships, you know, those type boxes. It's like $80. If it hasn't gone up since the last time I've shipped something, which was, you know, like last this time. Well, I only ship stuff mostly when it's cold. So... It was probably like last March, April when I sh shipped something. So who knows? It could be higher than $80. It was $65 before, and then it went up to, to $80. So I send her stuff like Peeps. Yeah, they don't have Peeps in England. I thought the first time I was going to send them that I was going to start an international incident, but I didn't because she loves them. But, you know, I'm sending her... You know, lint truffles and almond roca and, uh, you know, lots of other types of candy that they don't have over there. That's what she really, really loves. And like I said, I'll send her a little trinket here and there. But it is really expensive, so I only try to send stuff, you know, basically during this time of the year. Anyways, back to you goofballs. You just, I mean, it's ridiculous how much you are spending on your family. I mean, you know, loving your family and getting them stuff, okay, you know, it's fine. But when you've got six, eight, ten, twelve items for one freaking person, come on. And you're like, you know, you got a whole shopping cart full. This is just for, just for my kids. I still have to, to shop for my husband. I still have to shop for... For my sister and my mom and my dad and, you know, it's just, and I still have my nieces and nephews and, oh my God, I just don't know how I'm going to do it. But gee, I don't know. Maybe take everything you've got in the cart and divvy it up between everyone? <sighs> There's a difference between buying gifts for your loved ones and just going overboard. And you people, that's what you're doing. You're just, you've lost it. You've lost your absolute minds because this every year. I mean, I I mean, working overnights now. I don't see it as much because by the time I get to work, by the time I clock in, our you know customer service area closes. But I will see it when I get to work because I get to work an hour early. The day after Christmas. It's going to be insane for customer service. I feel so sorry for my friend Erica. Hi, Erica. That is going to be having to deal with that insanity. Because there's just going to be tons and tons and tons and tons of you morons that are going to be bringing stuff back. Mostly not because it's broken. Not because... It just didn't fit. Or I didn't like the color. Or you know, little Johnny said, it's not manly enough. No, you're bringing it back because you spent too much and I got bills to pay. I forgot I got rent. I've got the water bill. I got to pay cable. And I spent all this money on presents and groceries and now I can't pay my bills. There's so many of you people that do that. Do you... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save you all a little bit of time and a little bit of trouble right now. All of you people that have bills to pay, like rent, utilities, cable, phone bill, 
and any other kind of builds like that, guess what? As much as I hate it, you have to pay them every single month. It's not like, a, it's not a one-time thing. It's not like, you know, going, driving to McDonald's and buying a hamburger. You pay for it once. That's it. You don't have to pay for it again well, unless you go and get a new one. Rent has to be paid every month. Utilities have to be paid every month. So guess what? You need to have, you know, save that money aside. So, you know, if you're like, oh, geez, I just don't have, you know, I spent too much on, on all these gifts and all this food. And I got bills to pay. I got to pay rent. I don't, don't have enough money for rent. Why? Pay attention. Budget yourself. Set the money that you have for your bills aside and then, you know, go crazy. But don't just, don't just go to the store and buy overflowing cart by overflowing cart of crap. Because you're just going to bring some of it back or if not a lot of it back. And here's, here's a little thing that's not pointed, well, it's kind of pointed towards you psycho customers, but mostly towards the people that make some of these Christmas decorations. What the hell is with all the glitter? It seems every year more and more decorations are being made that are covered with that stuff. Why? All you people out there that say, oh, I just love glitter. It's so fun. It's so festive. It's so pretty. You work one holiday season as a cashier. You will hate glitter forever. It's everywhere. I, I can't remember who it was. It was one of our members of management that's no longer at our store had the perfect name that he called glitter. Craft herpes. Because once you get it, you've got it forever. And I will, I will find little specks of glitter on me, like in June. And I'm like, where the hell did this come from? I don't have anything in my apartment that has glitter on it. And if you're like in like June, it, with the exception of like bottled glitter, or maybe those small foam sheets that have glitter on it, there's no glitter in the whole freaking store. Where the hell does it come from? And like I was saying, why is there so many damn ornaments with that stuff on it? It's like, you people are just coming up with more and more ways of glittering everything. And it seems like there's always, you know, we have like, I've only been in, in our, where our Christmas decorations are a couple of times this year. But there's always seems to be on average like four colors that we go by. You know, there, I know there's purple, and there's blue, and I think it's red and silver. I can't remember if there's... I mean, yeah, there's other colors that are used, but those are, seem to be, you know, the main ones. And everything is glitter on it! It's like... Oh, look! We're going to make a little mason jar salt shaker ornament. So we'll have this one right here. And we'll get another one and we'll fill it with pepper. And you know, put like a nice little bow on it, right a little string that you can hang from your tree. And then, you know, we need to find some other way of making these more festive. I know, let's just coat it with glue and drop the whole thing in a thing of glitter. And then we can do it in purple, and we can do it in green, and blue, and red, and silver, and gold. Stop it! 
Glitter is forever, people. It is annoying. It's irritating. It go it's it's worse than sand. I would almost rather go to the beach and just bury myself up to my eyeballs in sand and do it naked and just get that sand everywhere. That's going to be less annoying than glitter because you know why? I can go home, get in the shower, wash all that sand off, and guess what? The sand is gone. Glitter doesn't go away. There's always going to be some sticking around or hiding somewhere to just jump on you. It's getting worse and worse every year. I've seen I've seen customers that use the little motorized shopping carts after they've pulled out their ornaments and decorations and stuff and set them on the belt and it just it looks like they just took those shakers of glitter that you buy in crafts and took the lids off and went <laughs> it's just all over the platform where they put their feet it's like good god you know how many you know, glitter horses or unicorns did you have to kill to get that much glitter it's like it's and then you have to hand it to us. It's like, Christ, get it off my hand. No. If it's not all you psychopaths, you know, you know, getting arrested by the cops or stabbing someone, you're buying a ton of crap or you're having a fit because we're out of this, we're out of that, or there's not enough cashiers and not enough registers open because you waited until the last darn minute to buy your stuff. You know, you're buying things that are coated with seven inches of glitter. And then, of course, you know, you, you all have to tell us what you're doing for Christmas, who you're having din your Christmas dinner with, what time, and, you know, oh, um, Uncle Earl, he's going to be there like an hour early, and by the time it's time for lunch, he's going to be drunk and passed out in the middle of the living room floor. And you're going to be telling us all here... You know, all this information we don't need, we don't want, we don't care about, blah, 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 blah. Oh, oh, <sighs> Only a week left and then the holidays are over. You guys are going to have to deal with the people, you know, all you weirdos that are going to be coming in and buying all the stuff that's, you know, on... Markdown or clearance, whatever you want to call it, but you, you, you people are just, uh, you know, you're a different breed all your own. Yeah, you're buying it because it's like at least 50% off. Okay, I understand it's stocking up for next year. But see, here's the thing. If all you people are stocking up for next year, where are you people are, you know, where are you people are you part of this group that still buys a whole crap ton of stuff like just before? Because it just seems like there's more and more people every year. So either you're buying a crap ton of stuff when it goes on sale, but you're still coming in and buying an even bigger crap ton of stuff like just a few days before Christmas. So I don't know what you're doing with all this stuff. But it needs to stop, and it needs to stop now. Because this is beyond out of hand. It's, it's insane, like I've said before. It's absolutely insane. And also, like I said before, every single one of you are all dingy. A bunch of dingalings. I will be so grateful once this is all over and done with and I can just uh, dread it next year. Just thinking, oh God, it's over, but it's coming again. It's going to be here again before we know it because every year seems to go by quicker than the one before. I mean, just think about it. Here in a couple of weeks, it's going to be 2019. I mean, I don't know about you, but 
it just felt like it was like, what, March? Just like, what, a couple, like, what, a couple of weeks ago? And the year's almost over. It's going to be January here in just a little bit. January 2019 is going to be here in a couple of weeks. Time is going by way, way too fast. And you weirdos are just not helping the situation with all of this. So all I can say is, if you're going to be a psycho, do you just, I don't know, go to the police department just right off the bat and say, you know what, I really feel like stabbing someone, or, you know, I've got all these warrants out for me, or, you know, whatever, and just have yourself locked up. I mean, you're going to get, you know, three hots in a cot, you know, you're going to be, you know, out of the weather. You know, you're going to have your own bed. You're going to get fed. You know, just don't spill it out all over the place. And all of you people who just buying tons and tons of crap, pace yourself for crying out loud. Spread it out over a few weeks. I mean, yeah, there's some things you, you have to buy, at, you know, like the last minute, you know, like, you know, dairy products. You know, stuff that's going to expire in a, you know, like within a week's time, if not less. But everything else, you don't have to wait to the last minute. I mean, people are just, I think you would, I think you enjoy it. You enjoy going in there saying, you know what, I'm going to go to the store and I want to buy everything and I know they're not going to have everything I want. I know there's not going to be enough cashiers. I know there's not going to be enough registers open and I'm going to get mad and I'm going to get all grumpy and I'm going to take it out on everyone and I can't wait to get there and be an absolute ass. And so many of you are like that. And this is supposed to be a time of giving, a time of cheer, goodwill towards men, all that stuff. But no, you have to be a bunch of selfish little children and throw your little temper tantrums and take it out on all of us. Well, knock it off. I mean, hey, you know, a lot of us have families, too. A lot of us, you know, we've got, you know, you know, we've got families that we're, you know, going to be doing stuff with. I don't, you know, but I'm not talking about necessarily me. I'm talking about, you know, all the other cashiers, you know, from, you know, not necessarily just, you know, grocery stores. They could be at convenience stores, gas stations, whatever, you know. They're, they're people, too. You know, treat them the way you want to be treated. You know, quit, you know, taking your bad day out on them or just because you're just an idiot. You just... Get in the season of it for crying out loud. You know, quit... Just quit being a bunch of psychopaths. That's all there is. And just a bunch of weirdos and a bunch of insane people. And a bunch of dingy people. Y'all are giving me a headache. I'm surprised my head hasn't exploded or at least I've had an aneurysm or a heart attack or anything like that. If anybody's going to do it, it's going to be you people. And of course, I'm not talking about my fans. You're the people. You're the reason why I do this. So, anyways, enough of that. I think I've released some tension, got some of it off of my chest, and through my beard. But the bells and the ornaments and the stuff. And the holidays, and the greenness, yeah, and that. <laughs> Anyways, on that note, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. And as many of you know, with this new software I'm using to do the editing and adding the
intros and outros and whatnots on it. It takes a very long time to get it doing what it does and get it saved to my computer so that way I can put it on on Facebook. I mean, I went from having my video ready and posted at 11 o'clock, which right now it is almost 9.25. Um, if the video runs really long, like this one I'm sure is, um, it could be 3, 4, 5 o'clock, or even 6 before I get it posted. Because, I mean, this is just the recording part. I still have to um, get it, you know, onto the computer, into the, into the uh, software that goes with my video camera, which that doesn't take too long. That takes about 15, 20 minutes. And, you know, if it's, re if it's really long, about 10 average. But then i got to just choose what kind of intro do I want to use, what kind of outro do I want to use. You know, do I need to find new pictures? Do I need to find, you know, different music? Do I need to find new uh, images that I'm going to use? You know, i got to put it all together and chop this and cut that off and grow that out. You know, and sprinkle something on here, just not glitter. And then once I get that all done, then I got to save it to my computer. And that's the part that takes the really, really long time. Because as I'm making the file, it's one file type. It's got to turn it into another file, save it to my computer, and then I got to put it on, on YouTube. So that takes a very long time. Why am I rambling about this? Because I'm considering, because I normally go to bed about 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And this going to bed at five and sometimes six really, you know, can really, you know, screw up my sleep schedule. So I'm considering not posting my videos until early Wednesday morning. Like I will get up about midnight, maybe one o'clock in the morning. So I think about maybe then posting my videos then. So it wouldn't be posted on Tuesdays like it's always been but possibly Wednesday morning. So I want to ask all of you what you think, you know, about doing it that, you know, doing it at that time. Uh, leave your, your comments down below and let me know what you think, how, you know, and how you feel about it. You know, would you prefer uh, having the videos posted on Tuesdays like it has been up to this point? Uh, would you prefer Wednesdays? Uh, does it matter to you? You know, let me know. Because, like I said, I, I do all this uh, for you fans out there. So, you know, I want your your input, you know, what you think and how you feel about, you know, me possibly posting it very early Wednesday morning while probably 99% of you are still asleep. So, well, anyways, with that in mind, as I was saying, thank you all for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this rant, outburst, uh, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> minor psychotic break, <laughs> but, um, at the very least, um, I will probably, since Tuesday, this next Tuesday is Christmas, I will make a video um, unless, you know, I have company, which I don't know yet, but, um, I will either be having another video next Tuesday or possibly Wednesday. We'll just have to see, but it will be a nice, uh, Merry Christmas video. Uh, probably be talking about, uh, memories and stories, uh, from Christmas's past, you know, me growing up or what have you. And we'll just have to see. So thanks again for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Click the little bell so um, you will get notifications um, whenever I post a new video. And at least for the time being, I'll be posting new videos every day on Tuesdays. Or every day on Tuesdays. That made a lot of sense, didn't it? 
be posting it every Tuesday unless I change, but for the moment, it's going to be still on Tuesdays. Just don't know what time because, you know, a few minutes makes a lot of difference on that software. So, like, I have no idea what time this video is going to be posted. It could be 2 o'clock. It could be 6. I don't know. So, anyways, please join me next week for a new video. And I hope you all have a wonderful and safe and Merry Christmas. Uh, I hope you all have lots of wonderful new memories to make. You know, enjoy lots of food. Um, and just have a great time. Uh, for all of, all of those of you that are traveling, please be safe, even though there's not planning on any snow in this area. But hey, if you're living in another state, you know, please be careful. Get to your destinations safely. I want you all back in one piece. But still, you know, remember, you know, be good to one another. You know, it's that time of year. Of course, it should be done all year round. But still, thank you all for being here. I love you guys very much. Take care of yourself. Have a very Merry Christmas, and I will see you all, more than likely, next Tuesday on Christmas for another video. So, I love you all a lot, and I will see you next week. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Bye!